Hey guys, Bogdan here from Boss Photography and today I want to talk to you about macro background cards and how you can create yours with minimum knowledge of Photoshop and a printer and a pair of scissors. Alright, so I've got a four photographs loaded in Photoshop at the moment. It doesn't really matter what photos you have as long as there's a nice contrast color contrast to it as you see here we have the green uh, grass with the blue sea and the light blue sky same here this is a flower the old castle here now first step we're gonna do is to duplicate this layer and create a blank new layer go in your background copy go to filter Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now I like to keep this 270, but this is more than a personal preference. You can go higher or lower, whatever you, whatever you like, whatever catches your eye. Okay, as well, you can resize the photos and move it around just to change the composition of your background card. If you want more sky, for example, in this one, or if you want more grass in it. Okay, now we can adjust it. If you want a lighter background card or a darker one, whatever you're going for, give it a bit more contrast, give it a bit more vibrance, a bit more saturation, just to make those colors pop up. And now on our blank layer, we will import a texture photo. Now you can either take some photos of some rusty cars, bricks, concrete whatever you want or you can search the internet for uh, texture photos for reality free texture photos that's what i've done so i've chose one and i will load it on my blank layer resize it to whatever you like that's it place it and now we're going to choose our blending mode to overlay Opacity, lower that down. Just about there. And that's it. Now let's do the rest. Okay, so now we're going to import all our backgrounds into a Photoshop uh, file that will get ready for printing. Go to view and click on show canvas guides. Create four layers and import each background to its respective layer and then place them into position by cropping or using the framing tool. Once all this is done, you have to set up your printer for printing. Check your manual on how to do that. On mine, I've just selected matte photo paper and high quality printing. Okay guys, so here we have them. I've printed mine off already. I think they look pretty decent. They will definitely, definitely give you some nice backgrounds. You can use them uh, in the studio or outside, whatever you fancy. Uh, next step would be to get them laminated. If you do that, make sure you use some matte uh, laminating foil, just so you don't get reflections from your flash firing. If you would like to download mine, the download link is in the description below. Any questions you might have, just post them in there. I'll be more than happy to help. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.